I'm Dave Woodall. Uh, I started to learn to program about a year and a half ago, and uh, I didn't have any any background, business background, design background. Actually, uh, did this T-shirt for you guys, so I hope you like it. Um, the uh, oh yeah. Okay. So uh, um, I'm trying to chart a new path because Rails and Ruby are incredible, and I heard a lot of good things, and felt like it would solve a lot of my business problems, but didn't know how to get into it, so I'm, I kind of uh, been working with Mike Gayhart, and he said, "Hey, tell, share your story, and see if it helps anybody." So, this is kind of a quick synopsis of where I've come from. Is I uh, first started with four months of self-study, pretty pretty normal, but learning the vocabulary, reading a lot of books, uh, Linda tutorials, that kind of thing. And then um, about a year ago, I go have lunch with Mike for the first time, and I'm like, Mike. You know, I know what an array is, but I have no idea what it does. And um, you know, how, how do you actually use this stuff? And so he he had advised me. He said, you know, check out the Hacker Academies. Uh, so I ended up going to Code Academy, and where I learned how to build CRUD apps, uh, three month process there, and that was incredible. You know, just to get everything kind of moving. Um, but then the question came as I as I came back to Colorado. I was like, well, what's you know, what's that space between? Okay, you know, a CRUD app that doesn't mean they're necessarily a developer yet. So what's that space, and how big is how big is that distance? So, uh, being the third uh, class of Code Academy, I was able to kind of watch as two classes went before me, and I just started asking those questions like, "Well, where did this get you?" and "Where yeah." So they they kind of got into two steps uh, before they got to the junior dev uh, place. So this was kind of the path that I've I'm currently trying to walk and walking on and and going from CRUD to intern to apprentice to hopefully junior dev that uh, I was going to describe what these, as I come to understand them, currently are. Um, so internship, the idea is that it's kind of a one to three month period where you try to partner with a dev shop and you're just in a community, but you're working on a personal project and kind of what Elaine talked about, the 28 things, there's so much you're learning, uh, but you never really addressed it, so this is the time to go back and just really focus and. Uh, so I have a, a project I'm working on with Mike where um, he's trying to help writing the user stories and I'm just trying to work toward those. But uh, you know that's plenty of pressure there. But assuming I get through that three months, then the idea is get to an apprenticeship where this now turns into company projects, not necessarily with Pivotal, but um, whatever dev and opportunity I get. But that's a six to nine month uh, situation where there's uh, an engaged mentor who's going to help probably with like a 30 minute, like some of the guys are doing in Chicago, they meet with their mentor 30 minutes a day, 7.30 to 8 a.m. to just kind of go over questions and just keep the process. So uh, that's kind of what I'm aspiring to next. Um, and then from there, you know, if you kind of look at that, if this is, you know, good or not, going from CRUD to junior develop, developer in eight to 12 months is kind of the aggressive goal, but so hopefully you do that. And um, I think that's it, so thanks.